Hello everyone and welcome back to Steel Division 2. Today with us we are going to take a look at one of my games because I am so sick I do not want to cover another game and um, I feel like I'm going to do a better cast if I explain and comment on one of my game. This game happened yesterday. It is on a it is against you use alternative account. So this guy was banned. This guy's, main, this guy's main account was banned. I've heard on Reddit as well that people saw a new Chinese guy that was completely obliterating people. This is most likely him. Um, they said he was cheating on the Reddit if it was possible that someone cheats. And I too, every time I play against this player, I feel like he's cheating. And apparently he's not. There's been some... Some verif verification from the devs on his gameplays and, and all. So technically, he is not cheating, all right? He's just that good. And um, But I know it's him because every time I play him, whatever name he uses, I always have the feeling that he's cheating. And we'll, we'll see some example in that game. Um, but I'm, I'm not going to, to comment on that too much because... Officially, he's not a cheater, so we're gonna go with that, and we're gonna go, and we're gonna give merit where merit is deserved. Yu Yu is a good player, um, and and that's about it. So he's playing second, and beware, this is one hell of a deck. He's play, playing second infantry Indian head V for victory, and just look at these C units, eighteen M four A one, eighteen. Tank destroyers, uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 artillery pieces, 4 P47, 4, 7, 14, 14, 15, 15, 15, 54, if I'm good in math and I'm not, but two cards of rifle early in sea face. I mean, there's a lot of stuff, okay? And uh, that that is his B face. There's not much, but still. And uh, the A face over here where there's there's more. Of stuff. So this is his lovely deck that I'm gonna pass my comments on on what I think of uh, of this. But anyway, and then I was playing with my new because I have to rebuild all of my decks. So I rebuilt 28 Panzer, and I'm going to be playing this deck. It's a 28 Panzer balance. It has uh this for a phase so uh, a couple of panzer four some panzer trees you know the regular stuff in b phase we have some p34s with leaders we've got pack 40 two amos and four rocket bf109 i like these because you can shoot at a good distance and in c phase we have a lot of stuff too we have three more almost we got flak 88 basically i'm taking them for their ammo supplies and um you know c phase you know always good to have some flak 80 in just in case i've got also some pack 88 panzer trees for support a card of double vetted panzer 4 and also a lot of infantry so it's interesting because both of these decks are built for the long game. Now, of course, Yu Yu has built his deck for much, much longer game. But the game is also 1 hour and 10 minutes. Now, that includes the deployment, I think. And it did take us a little bit to deploy. But still. So, <laughs> we're going to go in game right now. And we're going to see this monstrous game. It was one hell of a game, I got to say. It was pretty intense. There's a lot of action. And um, yeah, I want to say so much more, but we will see in the game anyway. So grab your popcorn and let's meet onto the battlefield. All right. And here we are. And uh, yeah, the game, the game is one hour and eight minute. Um, because the deployment took about took a lot of time. And the reason for that is that he arrived in the game pretty late. So I had time to basically deploy almost everything when he arrived. And I know that because I see the ticker. So when you get into a game of Steel Division 2, most good players will tick 
play and then we'll take again play really fast oh there he is after four minute 30 seconds doesn't matter i mean it doesn't matter so um so you can see when the people either arrive or or you know it's going to be against a good player so when i saw the chinese name and i saw that he double click i was like okay i i am in for a hell of a battle and um anyway so i talked to him and i said hello are you ready and he wouldn't answer so eventually you know after seven fucking minutes you know i pressed the timer and uh, then we waited for a while and when it was about 30 seconds i was like hello you're there and then when it was like 10 five seconds i was like are you ready and he said yes i'm ready he he in caps and i was like okay but whatever <laughs> It is uh, these things that happens. So anyway, with the deployment, I'm going to go heavy on this open ground. This is what I, I usually like to do. I go for this lag around here. And uh, if I can, I'll even try to come around here with CQC units and a couple of long-range infantry and maybe a mach uh, machine gun or HE device around here. Um, I don't always do this route, but I always go this route. Because it's such an easy flag uh, against noobs or intermediate players. They don't deploy a lot here. And, um, yeah. This is you use deployment. He's not going to go for that blue flag, which is strange. But he is going to take uh, the side here. He's going to go for these grounds. He's going to unload infantry here and then back out here. You can see he's a really experienced player. And he's only got like a 100 multiplayer game to his name on his profile. Um, because his first profile got banned. Or I don't know what. But I was told it's not because he was cheating. But it was banned nonetheless. So why? I don't know. But anyway. And uh, he's going to be coming here for that flag. He's coming in here with the uh, Greyhound. So that means he knows. He knows that a good player will come around here. Try to take this flag. And that's why he's going there. And then back here. And that kind of fucked me over. And um, going to bring a couple of troops here. Far beyond what is usual. Get a recon in this church. And then come back here. And he's going to go for the flank here. And this flank here. And some in the middle. So he's he's going really strong. A little bit everywhere I'd say. <coughs> Whereas. My deployment kind of looked like it sucks. Compared to him. There's none of all of these. Nice commands. But. Um, but yeah anyway. I'm, I'm going around here. Gonna put a machine gun here I think. Yeah. And then I got the pencil gun deer coming here. Usually sometime I'd go here. But this time I figured I'd go here. Since I had the machine gun here and I tried to control this forest. That was my idea. I decided to go strong around here with two flak. Because of course against a good player. If I'm deploying a big tank. I don't want it to die to AA. So I got one forward position and one backward position. And you know just in case. And then I'm going here with machine guns and stuff like that. Um, flamer going into town. And I got these guys. I actually, I never go to the middle. And this time I decided to do so. Uh, call me silly. Uh, but this is what happened. And then I came over here with some other troops. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, there, that's the flamers going here. And then these toss troops are going to go around here. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed the game. If you do, like and subscribe. It helps me out. And let's press play. So for those of us who just joined us, you, you, red corner, Obo Tango, blue corner. Let's get it on. It is just a waiting game now. Yeah, it is on speed one. It looks like uh, the units are kind of slow to arrive. But there you go. Already I'm getting shot at by that M8. But I will make it. But maybe not here. 
I'm actually getting shot down by that M2HB. Over here, my flamers, uh, I had to unload them early. My machine gun is getting killed by these guys. Back 45 mil, only shooting HE, not the greatest. He's got these guys coming in here, and I got these guys coming there. They're going to die from the engineer's half track if this is what happens. Over here, I got the flamer against these two basic units, but basic units are extremely strong. I already got the P47D. These guys are going to have to unload in face of the M8. I got this beauty stallion that uh, decided to shoot at, uh, at uh, some units. So I, I removed the HE because I want him to destroy that M8 as quick as possible. Over here, we're dying to the P47. And it is already 1311 for my good old self because he's only got recon around here. Now the beauty stallion will shoot at the M8. He's not paying attention there. Uh, trying to destroy that Izzy gives that. I've got the BF-109 here. The uh, fighter bombers. They dropped their load somewhere here maybe. Trying to get at the P-47. Could not. But I wanted to bait him a little bit because I know I got these two flax, So, But uh, unfortunately we do not kill him. Over here, his engineers actually died. I did unload here because I, I saw him coming. But, you know, I don't have a lot of stuff going on around here now because he's got all of these units. Uh, half tracks M4, you know, all these cheap units. I'm moving on over here with the Panzer Grenadier. And I'm trying to advance with that MG42 as well. Over here, my machine gun will finally perish to the Rangers LMG. Task troop coming in here for the flag. Panzer Tree Recon with some more Star Swoop to take on these Flamers. Over here, then Eb 8 is just shooting at the BF-109. I, uh, I use that BF-109 for strafing, but, you know, it only has a 20 mil and two 7.2, 7.92. So, I, I eventually, I just removed it. I preferred him to take the reload the bomb as fast as possible. Over here, I'm feeling really smart with my 15-9, so I'm keeping it like that. I'm not deploying anyone in here because, hell, I do have the flags, so I don't need to focus around here for the moment being. There's a Bofors 40 mil coming in. And my Panzer Grenadier will unload around here. And then, um, yeah, because I want the machine... Exactly, I changed my mind because I want the machine gun and the Beauty Stalin, the Boy T Stalin to cover that Panzer Grenadier. Recon versus Recon. Mine is 2 star and a Panzer tree. Soon. Oh, he's getting in my MG42. I got some Panzer Grenadier coming, coming in as well. The Star Troop. I got more Star Troops on the way. It's going to take too long for me to actually shoot. And so he's going to remove himself just a little bit. I'm trying to engage here because I do believe the engagement is in my favor. Got to move with the star soap. He's going to back out of there and go to the safety. M4A1 actually kills one of my Panzer Grenadier. BF-109 coming in for the Flamers. It's a blind shot. And I actually hit them. So nice. Over here, we're not holding the flag anymore. He's got the Rangers. He's got some M4A1 coming in. But we are holding these flags. So it's all good for that. M1 gun right smack dab in the nicest place ever. I'm moving in with my recon. I'm not afraid of these guys. So I'm moving in. And even with the M4, I figured I can get some shots at it. But... No, I moved in here and I figured um, eventually I'll see this guy. And I'm like, no, no, I don't want to. I don't want to attack. And you see, it's funny. It's funny how. It's funny how as soon as I got in here and no one can see. No one can theoretically see me, but I guess he's seeing me because he, he removed himself. But um. And he did it when I was just a little bit more here. Now, I don't want to cry wolf. Uh, apparently, he sees me from the recon. All right. Yeah, I don't want to cry wolf too much in this game. But there is so many instances like that that I felt like... I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, he... Anyway. 
<coughs> doesn't matter. I didn't notice at the time that he removed his M4A1. I just noticed there. But there, there's other moments like that. I'm going to try to let you guys know if I see them. Not that it matters that much. Same, I'm not reinforcing around here either because I feel comfortable with uh, my flag right now. And I feel like he's going to put way more effort around here because I am pushing around here. I do have a lot of CQC, but I don't want to get too close to this. Marauder coming in. BF-09 blind shot again, I think. Yeah, and I I pinned him down, but not doing a lot of damage. Uh, he's got that B, uh, that bow first 40 mil. Uh, and he's already started to come with the long tom. And now these guys are going to be the bane of my existence in the late game. You want to see that, I promise. And if you don't want to see the whole game, just skip forward. Because you don't want to miss that long tom barrage that's going to be happening. Uh, but, you know, I have Hummels as well. And I have plenty of them. So who knows who's going to win on that, um, <coughs> on that artillery war. Only one way to find out. Alright, so... I saw that Marauders, because of that star swoop, I brought the star swoop here for reconning, you know. Um, these guys saw me, I'm, so I'm bringing the BF-109 around here. I thought that I had him. And um, I didn't. But he is heavily suppressed. I am moving forward. Now I'm seeing him, he sees me. Actually misses! And I tried to go... At first, I, 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 I fell back. Now I'm going all in for him. Um, he still spin down. Now Yuyu sees that. He's going to remove himself. And he's actually going to survive. Because I don't want this guy advancing too much. No! My 76 dies to that M1 gun. The, uh, the Zis 3 that I brought. And my Ace also dies to that guy. I actually brought this guy forward to help the Panzer IV. But now that he's dead, I'm going to remove myself. And also, these guys are getting in position so that they can, you know, kill me. Over here, Panzer Grenadier versus 3-star Rangers. Not going to last long. And dies. I'm bringing more and more troops to Flak 43. Another 76 Zis 3. And IG-18, I am starting to stress out really bad. He's taking back this flag. This flag, I'm only on a 13-11 advantage now. But I still got that beauty boy T's talent. But he is killing, you know, he is killing my my flag 43. Thankfully, I got this one. <coughs> oh, what a day. My bones hurt. My head hurt. Every time I move, it hurts. Uh, and I got this cough. But I always have a cough, you know, some of you knows, but I've uh, I've worked a dust factory when I was younger and it, it really crippled me. In terms of coughing, it, it crippled my throat, really. And, uh, yeah. It is what it is. Alright, as you have said, 81, we'll start shooting around here. The bazooka killed my Panzer tree. unfortunately. I'm coming in with the BF-109. This time, that's a three-star Bofors. I'm not shooting it. I might die even. But I survived because in the end, he's in the forest. 81 mil mortar will start shooting at the M4 A1 3 star. Another Panzer. I don't have a choice. I have to call in reinforcement. So I, that's what I'm doing. Another Panzer 3 coming in. He's got the P47 on my Panzer Grenadier. He's got the artillery on the MG42. I've got my boy T. Stalin here. I am actually running out here. So I, now I decided to bring a reinforcement because it was a time to do so. Over here, everything is pretty dead. There's a M5 gun coming in here, no doubt, for the boy T. Stalin. Will it survive? The time will tell. <laughs> uh, I've reinforced a little bit around here with, with a SDKFZ because I know these are basics infantry. So, you know, I'm not too stressed. Uh, Pins are going to do will die. It is now phase B, and I do have a lot of Stone Pioneers, so I'm bringing them. And I'm finally going to be able to wage a better war against him. 
Got M5 gun here as well in case I want to go to the side. Some pioneers coming in on both sides. He doesn't look like he's calling in reinforcement. He's probably accumulating point. He sees that and so he's uh, shelling it as well. This guy will be able to shoot at us with the uh, M1 Garand that's going to do a lot of damage. So, we have to unload with two surviving members out of six. I put the smoke, make sure the others, you know, get in line. I got my Flag 43, so this guy won't be able anymore. But already he's on it. His micro is, one would say, really, really good. Others would say, something else. <laughs> But we're not going to talk about that. And, and we shouldn't. We shouldn't. Um, we really shouldn't. I'm, I'm bringing my... He's, he's backing out whenever I try to come in. <laughs> and now I'm backing out. He's coming in. He must see me because of that M8 recon. Black 43 still dying. I got these guys coming in the line now because I see the artillery. I don't want to be stuck by them. There's some engineers of his coming into this flag. I want to make sure. I don't know if he has, you know, bazookas or things like that in here. So I want to make sure. Look at that. That expert tank. That tank alone is seeing my very good stealth infantry in the woods. Wow. What a trooper. Like 43 going down. P47 taking advantage. Hitting that 70. Hitting that Zis3. Pentagon Adir will survive because fortunately they are in a high on load just in time. P47 is kind of roaming around to make sure there's no more AA. I got the Omel finally. Finally got the Omel out too because I have to destroy this threat here. Over here we're still very silent all of us. Um, this guy died to the M4 probably or maybe the M5 gun. I'm coming in with the boy T. Stalin. Uh, he did try to shoot at me, and I did survive. So I'm sorry we kind of missed it, but but this is what happened. I have to bring my infantry forward so that I can try to see what's going on. Blind shooting around here to give a chance to these guys. Because um, I don't have X-ray vision like you use, so I have to, you know, actually bring my unit forward for me to be able to see what's going on. And then, uh, there you go. I'm, I'm here. Did he already shot at me? Or did he shoot at this? Anyway, somehow, now I don't know what he's shooting at. Okay, shooting at that. Uh... <coughs> he's shooting at, uh... there you go. Now we're going to be in an, in, in an engagement. He's holding fire due to efficient fire i don't think he should but anyway engineers coming in over here they do have a lot of flamers now and i've taken position a little bit here it's forcing him it doesn't really force him but i guess he doesn't want unit rampage rampaging in behind he could have just put you know a machine gun here or whatever but uh anyway so he's coming in with the engineers i got Panzer four leader a Panzer 4H. I've got the SDKFZ-71 now. These guys are going to have to retreat. The Engineers 2-star are really, really good. Um, they can even drop their TNT while being... Uh... Anyway, and they have also the M1 Garan. What? Who's that harassing me? Oh, good. It's all good. I'm going to close that Discord. All right. Sorry about that.
I'm thinking um, I'm thinking my stone pioneers can take on engineers, but I guess they they can't really. They are really really good. Okay, they're two star. They got M1 Garan, you know, two Thompsons, two star. They're they're pretty good units, but in the end, he is removing themselves. I I do have a little bit of an advantage with the flames. I'm calling in pack 40, another Zist tree, because I really want this goddamn road. Like, Jesus Christ, look at everything I've lost around here. You know? So I really want to... Over here, I've actually moved my boy T. Stalin behind here so as to not be bothered by him. And I got some people going around here as well. Now, I know I'm. it's dangerous for me to stay here without AA cover, so I am going to call an SDKFZ71 um, right here to kind of help him out. Amo did destroy... It looks like it did destroy... Or maybe he actually just moved it. I don't know. I don't see any carcass. Yeah, it looks like he just moved it. Uh, where are we? Okay. Gonna move this time. Got some supplies from his um How Wizard 105. I'm trying not to be too dangerous with that boy T. <clears throat> Back him up a little bit. Uh, especially now since I don't have any flag 43, and this is the deciding factor in getting that Izzy Caves done. All right, I'm coming over here. I'm still using the road like a noob. Doesn't seem like he sees me for some unexplained reason. Blind shooting again. Now I'm going to bring my pack 40 around here. I'm trying to couple these guys together. Now somehow he knows that and he moves himself. You see how um, <laughs> this is what I'm saying? He's moving forward and when I couple these guys together and decide to move on, suddenly he knows to back up. Somehow. You know? How? Why? Why does he does that? Is it because he saw the front line moving forward? Could be. Could be. M5 gun coming in. Long Tom being shot at by the Hummel. He's moving away. <clears throat> He's getting a lot of artillery. The uh, Howitzers 105 mil. That 105 is taking pop shop at my infantry. I did try to move that boy T because uh, he was around here, I think. I, I moved that uh, and I'm moving it again. I'm, I want to make sure. He's not in a good position to shoot me, but I'm, I'm being careful of that M5 over here. Got the SDKFZ that's going to be coming around here. Pack 40 also coming around here. <clears throat> oh boy, my head hurts so bad. Alright, these Stone Pioneers are in a good position. This tree. Shooting at the M5 gun. I'm trying to get that pack 40 in line as well. And I got that mortar. I don't know where you're shooting. Yeah, right here. But this is three dies in the end. Alright, these guys are going to be starting to be like a real nuisance. But they are targeting my Amel. Which, you know, I am tracked. So I've already moved out of here. And uh, I'm putting him on uh, defensive uh, counter battery. I'm calling another Hummel because Christ, I mean, Jesus Christ, you know, I, I, I'm i being bombarded by artillery here. I need a way to reply. Against lesser skilled players, I don't feel a need to reply to artillery. But against what appeared to me during that game at that moment, a very good player. 
I kind of have to, you know? I can't let this go unchecked, basically. Alright, I put some smoke here because I'm tired of him having the advantage on this road. So I put the smoke and my idea is to move around here and, and get him from another angle. He sees that he's going to move forward, but I do have, you know, a lot of some pioneers that are going to move in. <clears throat> I, I think I'm waiting for that smoke. I don't know what I'm doing. I, there you go. Now I'm moving forward. Goddamn APCR. I just removed it. All right. My pack 40 actually died here to uh, his M5 gun. It shot when it was, you know, around here and moved and died. I'm getting shot by that M5 again. Now I got three almost. One shooting at this. The other, I decided to help these tank out a little bit against the, uh, you know, against the artillery. He knows that I'm shooting him, so now he moves that bull force. You see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? I haven't shot yet. He's, there's my first shot, okay? That's hitting somewhere else. That's hitting around here. I haven't shot his BF, his bull force 40 mil yet with the Hummel, but I am aiming at it, so he moves it away. And he's clever like that. He's not going to move all of his units, you know, because it's going to be too evident. Oh, wait, that's true. He's not cheating. Okay, cool. Let's keep playing. He's not cheating. All right. Now, I'm telling these guys to shoot there and then to move around here. This guy, he also, he also knows I'm shooting at him. So, he's going to move just a little bit, you know, just to make sure that I don't hit him. <laughs> Alright, so he's got this, uh, this guy... I'm bringing my pack 40, so naturally, he's going to move out of there. Now, I'm moving the Hummels. I don't want to get counter-batteried. Boy, T. Stallion still alive. We are 22 minutes into the game. Now face C. Now I'm... Uh... <laughs> now I decided to shoot here. And so naturally he's moving around here. Okay. Alright. I guess he must have a recon. And that's the thing. I, uh, I actually thought... Like these kind of things... Seem to be happening so much that I actually thought he had a recon around here. And I had to call in an infantry eventually and uh, two infantry. And I did a sweep around in these forests. <clears throat> I see that I'm being countered battery right away. So I'm moving. I'm moving out of there. I got these guys in. Uh, I see... That Marauder, so I'm moving out. He's uh, crippled my flamers. It's going kind of bad. I'm moving away. One will die. There you go. And now, because I, I didn't want to uh, go there because of his M1 gun. Uh, but unbeknownst to me, since I don't have X-ray vision, um, he was dead. So I, I took a chance here and it paid off. I put some smoke around here as well. Now he's going to come for my IG-18. These guys getting countered batteried again. I'm bringing a lot of Panzer Tree N. Look at these guys. And I'm just like, fuck it, I need. Oh, look at these Fork Xylophone. They're uh, aiming for my Beauty Stalin. Let's go take a quick look at that. He's gonna shoot soon, I feel it. Maybe not, maybe not. Eventually he will. I remember seeing that. Look at that. Jesus Christ. And there you go. It dies. How? How can you? 
No, compete. He's going to remove himself. Oh, I'm at the uh, two speed. I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, he's removing himself right away. Of course, this is the right thing to do. Pack 88 coming. I wanted to break to destroy that M5. I act actually am getting destroyed instead. He's got two M18 Hellcat. Um, I'm just fuck it. Fuck it. I told myself fuck it. And I am moving forward. I want to capture this area here. Now the smoke is mo is is out. So and they're getting shot by these M18 Hellcat. And so I'm just like fuck it. And I'm I'm moving on the side here and I decide to go for that flag instead. Pack 40, pin down. BF-09 also gets shot down by uh, AA. We're, we still don't have a lot of people around here. And there you go. I got three surviving Panzer tree. And I literally just, you know... <laughs> I was just so pissed. <laughs> and it, it happens. And uh, now... I'm shooting there. He's going to remove himself. But, you know, to his defense, he's removing himself right in the line of fire. All right. My kid came down. It's his uh, nighttime routine. So I'm going to have to press pause on the video and I'll be right back. Just so you don't miss anything. And here I am back. God oh, damn, that kid is hell on the wheels. Whew. Uh, especially when, you, you know, when you're sick and you got to take care of a baby. And he's just there and he's like. <laughs> That's my experience right now. And. Uh, all right, let's get back to the game. Thank you guys for having patience with me. And. Uh, Let's do that. Oh, look at that. Oh, I <laughs> I hate when you zoom in and they're either so far up or they're so far down. Like like the shots will sometimes be super high, but the tracers will be super down. Uh this one actually looks good. Yeah, the tracers here are pretty good. But uh Jesus Christ. Anyway, all right. Oh, maybe because they they shot in the air like that, but even so doesn't really make sense with Oh man, classic SDL. I mean, sorry, <laughs> classic Steel Division Two. But let's take a moment to enjoy the beauty. This is the game on pause. We see there is an exploded tank here with all of his stuff scattered around. The grass burned. He's burning. There's a recon around here that's helping out the Panzer trees. He's kind of hoping not to die, but he does have a machine gun, so he can provide some support. Um, what else is there? People over here have died. Some are retreating. There's like, uh, it's literally hell around here. But surprisingly, not a lot of these uh, Panzer trees actually died on that road where they were met with the... Or they were met with these um, Hellcats. Whoa! What just happened here? Anyway, I guess we're I guess we're here now. There's this 105 mil, you know, trying to shoot the distance across here. There's that IS-2 that died right here with all those shells. Look at that! It didn't take that much shells, but just enough to get him to to fall back. Look at that. Didn't stand the chance. Across this vast open area. Over here, there's still nothing. It's complete virgin area around here. There's nothing that happened. If you look at the difference between both, there's plume of smoke. But there is battle over there. It's apparent. Yeah, that's, that's where the battle. Uh, the artillery around here are trying the best they can. Um, Suppress the enemy. Something burning over there. What's that? The SGFZ still alive. Moving. 
There's a half track motor here and here. All right, let's get that show back on the road. Here, my artillery is always getting uh, pushed back. Yeah, it's just so much of them. What can you do? At least I am on track, so I mean, it allows me to escape quicker. Over here, I just kind of retreated. I saw these guys coming in, so I retreated and uh, decided to be more conservative. I still got a pack 40 coming in. Alcats are moving around. You know, at least this move allowed me to capture this here. But look, if we look here in the south... Um, there's actually a basics attack coming in. I did myself as well. I brought reinforcements slowly by slowly. Like I got these three here. Because I figured he would soon be attacking uh, eventually around. Alright, so I'm trying to stop this infantry from coming too hard on me. I'm moving these guys over here because I don't want the artillery to smash this entire area. So, you know, I just keep one over here and the rest down there protected by these panzer trees. <coughs> these six xylophone are uh, taking aim now to this general area. Of course, I had my pack 40 come in, so... He retreated his, his, his tank. And that's... There, there you go. That's because I thought it was so strange that he gets such pinpoint accuracy and fast. I figured, I was like, there's a recon somewhere. And I was like, it's not cheating. He's just using recon. But he's not using recon. So, I don't know. I got pissed. I, I just... It, it, it's good to sometimes, you know, make sure there's the enemy's not... ...pying on you. Now, I'm going again with these guys. They're trying to get my Pack 88. The motor is going to try to take on the uh, Rhino. Recon dies. Not doing a lot of damage with these Hummels. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. I took them on recommendation from Homer and uh, he has disappointed me. They're not doing the damage I expected them to do. Oh! He actually changed target for my SZKFZ. It just doesn't stop. It's an off map. That's what it is. <laughs> I started to bring the 88. 
on that other flank just because now he's starting to bring some some, some aircraft, you know. Over here we're having little fights, not nothing alarming, but he does have these reinforcements coming in that will hurt a lot. He's counter battering around here. And and you see these are the moments that makes me think, you know, he's just he's just good. That's what he is. He's not cheating, he's just good. And of course for you, you I'm not that big of an opponent. I'm actually surprised I've lasted so that long so far. Um, usually you, you will destroy me in a matter of like 10 minutes. And these days I pretty much lose all of my games because, um, well, I don't play that much. I just cast, 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 but I, I don't do actual playing anymore. All right. So we're still going strong around here. The battle is pretty much died out. I mean, there's there's still a little bit of skirmishes, but me overpowering him over here uh, kind of let him go cold a little bit. And he decided to, you know, just uh, come in here instead. I do have E34 and Panzer Trees. Just out of flight. Out of sight, I mean. Now I'm moving right away. And he is busy trying to get those uh, mortars. Now with there's 105 coming in. To sure be extra annoying, these guys have 2k range, HE, they're really, really good. They can kill tanks at 1500. Basics are being repulsed, but now there's an M1 gun who is uh, shooting at me. Bringing the Pack 88 with a Pack 45 mil. Trying to get those pesky M4s and M10s. Uh, and there you go. That's the artillery. Lots of artillery coming in now. Xylophone are going to be hitting me. <laughs> One of his airplanes just died here. I'm glad I'm shooting them a little bit. I wish I would have done more damage. I mean, come on. More shells, maybe? And there you go. That was great. That was great. This one's still shooting. And it is pretty spread apart, but they are still hitting me bad. That's the last one. Oof. I'm just staying there and I'm praying. I was looking at that and I was like, oh no. But just one dead. Not not the end of the world. I have more almost, but still, you know, pretty bad. It is pretty bad. And especially with, uh, with this type of 10v10 mine, 
mind frame super artillery coming in Alright, pack 40 doing a good job, but still. And I remove his HE so that he doesn't shoot. Doesn't um, displace himself uselessly. I'm trying to keep this flag open. I've got this guy flying around. You know, trying to see where his uh, stuff is. God, this guy without HE will just... I don't know what happened there. Um, definitely a mistake and now he's getting hit by two 105 mil he's going to die for sure yeah <clears throat> crucial mistakes here you can't afford these kind of mistakes finally m5 gun dead oh man look at that can you be more annoying <laughs> and obviously i'm gonna have to call in more and so i am and i'm trying to now kill his bow force. There's only one remaining xylophone. They all died here, thankfully. That was nice. They retreated right into artillery. And I still got two surviving members here. I'm trying to still shoot at his um, arty pieces. These guys are dying to M18. There's only two left. Unfortunately, uh, he's going to shoot at yeah the machine gun. So now he sees that he's going to move away. I think. No, he's actually moving forward. These guys, obviously the rifles are better at close range. Going to be moving these dudes. 13-11. And I've got him down pretty severely. 12-12 now. These are still the uh, mortars trying to get the howitzers. Doing an okay job. I prefer having four mortars, but I decided to go conventional in this uh, in this game. He's got the xylophones on the Panzer IV, but I'm moving away. And there you go. There you go, there comes the uh, on map, half map. And this is just going to shred me. Please move. Please move. I completely forgot them there, and now these guys are shooting. And there you go. And I believe that's the end of my homos. I'm, I completely forgot about them, so I'm not even moving them. Yeah, there you go. And eventually, one, one day, I came back here and I was like, oh, shit, they're gone. It took me a while to realize he had a whole line of fucking long tom there. I did establish myself a little bit here. Unfortunately, he took this flag. Trying to get the Panzer trees to close the gap. And I also got a flag 88 here. But um, I am running out of troops. Like, I don't have a lot of stuff left. Uh, in terms of infantry, especially, which is why you kind of see me just bring support unit. I'm trying to sprinkle my infantry a little bit around. Gonna move here. 
I'm going to use these guys, uh, but I think, yeah, they're already being countered. But these guys are shooting at them. They're not doing a lot of damage. And there you go. Just in time, but still. Still pretty bad. Oh boy! Direct shot. Bastard. That fucking bastard. Come in here with the P-47. He's trying to figure out where my AA is most likely. So that he can counter it. Over here we're still suffering from the artillery. I've lost one of the 81 mil. Because I didn't pay attention. I'm bringing some troops around here. I've lost flag, so I gotta bring, you know, some CQC troops to hold the force as much as possible. And I decided to be fuck that on that flank too, because when I said fuck that here, it worked so well. So I figured with, with some remaining troops that I have, I figured fuck that. And I'm just moving forward. And I'm uh, hoping for the best here. And I'm 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 using my last reserve of infantry, unless I'm mistaken. But yeah, I think this was like a last kind of push attempt. I had infantry till the entire game, though. It's just I was starting to run out. M10 tank destroyers. I tried to move this guy, but he's so slow. But he makes it. Now he's targeting my... I have no chance there. I have no chance. Because everything I've got in the air now is the Flak 88 that I brought for the supplies. I don't really need the supply. Maybe I brought too much supplies. Especially at the rate that the Hummels are shooting. Trying to spread out a little bit before this comes into my face. And effectively, it is coming, but for the 88. And there you go. I killed it. And now it's just trying to leave before the artillery comes down on us. Oh, and here they come. Oh, boy. Jeez. And we're falling back. There ain't no way I'm going to be able to keep him at bay like that. Uh, but I still got, you know, some SKFZ-71. Killed, killed one of the two P-38 he has. I'm trying to shoot at his infantry because his infantry is causing me a lot of problems. Killing my own. So I have to, you know, try to... And plus, they're not vetted up because that's my C, C face uh, card. My pack 88 died. I'm gonna put these guys onto that M1. Unfortunately, I think they lose line of sight. Over here, I did recapture this. It is 1311 for me again. 88 here. I got one there. Over here, we're still pretty calm. But um, he's far from running out of infantry. I mean, 
He's got two cards of 27. But you know, I'm getting there. And I've been having an advantage the entire game. Point. So all is not lost here. I just need to kind of keep that going. But with the lack of troops, it's becoming more and more hard. But you know, I still have these BF-109 providing support. I still got some T-34s. I still got troops coming in. There's a, Unfortunately, there's a bazooka here. <clears throat> but I think I see it. I'm not sure. Maybe not. No, I don't see it, obviously. Uh, I still survive. But they are strong. They got, they do have three Thompsons. And so they will actually survive. I got the M4 coming in here. I got an M10 and uh, I, I, I got to bring them. I got to bring the 1410. I got to keep the pressure as much as possible. Oh, man, they are out of HE shells. Wow. Some of them, not all. He still got supplies. And he still got these dudes. He's trying for another push around here. I'm still shooting my 81 mil mortars um, around here, you know. I'm trying to keep the enemy here at bay. Still got these two piece of flak plus the 88s behind. Uh, we're still holding this. Just by one some pioneers, but we're still holding it. You now things aren't so bad. It is a 13-11 victory in 10 minutes if I keep it like that. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Was I on mute this whole time? I'm coughing so much, guys. I actually I have to press mute on mute all the time. I was saying how the game was going good in my name. It is 13-11 that I just needed to keep the pressure um, off of him. I wish there was a way that I could see if my recording program is on mute or not. I really wish. Um, this would save me so much trouble. It's like the bane of my existence as a as a YouTuber, YouTuber that has a cough. Plus, is always sick because of his kid. It would save me so much problems. I think I'm actually going to look into that. Oh, look, now he's getting at my SZKFZ. Probably the end of it. I still got some pioneers, by the way. Coming in for a strafe. And falling back. We're shooting at it from a distance. Uh, but these guys, I do have a lot of them, but they're uh, that's almost all I have. He's concentrating on my SZKFZ. Clearly, they're the most dangerous one. Uh, I don't think there's another volley, so I'm going to survive here. Alright, kill another M10. He's got nine of them. He's good. He can just call one back. He's calling in a lot of Bofors. I think he's tired of my airplanes. Maybe he's starting to... Lose? What? He he got some supplies? How were these guys suddenly resupplied? There is no supplies that moved. That was really weird. Did I miss something here? They were at zero. And now they all have ammo. And But he's calling supplies now. Why would he be calling supplies when they're almost full of ammo? That was very strange. I'm going to rewind that part and, and look what happened. Just because, you know, I'm super paranoid of this player cheating. And, uh, and um, I just want to make sure for myself, you know. And that that's the thing. If he's that good of a up a player why is he not pushing more but there you go you know what now he does as a 13 11 and maybe he's not pushing more because he knows he can actually go at it for so long he doesn't care really that may be what's happening as well 
this guy was pretty annoying. Uh, these guys are, you know, gonna die now. I've lost this flag. I'm bringing some Panzer IVs and some. Hey, there you go. I still got some. <clears throat> I'm just being reckless here. I uh, I need to I need to put pressure this guy. I've removed the AP shells, uh, but uh, you know, there's only so much a Panzer tree can do. And the reason why I took Panzer trees is because they're cheap, right? Uh, I didn't expect to go into an hour long game. Now it is 1410 for him. Two more tank destroyers coming. Like I said, he doesn't really care that much. He's got so much. I'm definitely taking his deck. I, I, alre I already, as you saw, have his deck. And I'm going, I'm going to try it. But, you know, honestly, this is how these guys are so good in a way. They do have skills or cheats, one or, one or, one or the other. But they do have skills, all right? And they always pick the strongest divisions they can play with. And 20th Panzer is not a weak division, okay? I'm not. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not talking about our game matchup. I'm talking about his 115 victory to his 10 losses, you know? And he takes the, the, the most powerful units, builds them so toxically, <laughs> and then they go into rank and, and they beat just... A whole lot of noobs and then they get people sometime of their own skills and they lose these these ones and um and that's what a lot of people do in rank you kind of don't have a choice if you're playing with rank you know we're let's be honest here i do that too um if you're going to play rank this is what you have to do but i don't know i i i got myself on the first page of rank and then I I got just to just to say you know like woohoo, and um, by playing Festung Dunkirchen, which is not a super OP division, but it is, is a really annoying division. I I tried I didn't know he had that much fucking infantry here. I was trying to I said fuck it, and I was trying to get to that flag, and it was just such a bad idea, <laughs> and they all died basically. Uh, these guys are now being uh, shot at too. I'll retreat him right away. BF-109 in the air. And um, yeah, but I, I removed myself from that because I uh, I don't enjoy playing the most OP division because it, it doesn't really relate. I, I don't want to be rude either to people who play the OP division. It's fine to play an OP division from time to time when you're a pro player, I think, you know. But why not leave a chance to the lesser skilled one? If you're going to QP, you know you're going to get some noobs. Why don't you just play lesser division from time to time? A good mix is nice. Sometimes you do want to play the, the OP division because, you know, let's be honest. They're fun. They're fun to play. Um, but sometimes you got to go with poor division give a chance to the new guys and also challenge yourself a little bit and this is my doctrine pretty much and um like the other day i played for a week just using night cav you know uh, in qp it's not a uh, it's not a good division or i remember i used to play 7th yes all the time and that's because i was too good to just go and i like qp because it's so fast you know you just go into a game Usually you get in in a couple of minutes and it's just, I don't have time to organize battles and wait for people online. So I just go to QP and um, and I do that. And I'll play with some of the worst divisions because I know most people in QP are not that good. And I lose sometimes, you know, and uh, it, it does piss me off. <laughs> it does piss me off. I, I'll take 9 Cav. I'll go into QP and I'll get defeated naturally. And then I'm like, wow, this fucker was spamming me. <laughs> it's just, I am coping. I'm coping really hard. And this is another reason why I don't play this game anymore that much is because of the cope. Everyone gets frustrated playing this game except for the top elite players because they don't lose much. But when they do lose, um, you know, they do cope as well. Uh, I remember once my very first game in Steel Division 2 that I recorded 
was against green. And I've used I've opened the game up with three Walker Wolf 190. Okay? And um oh people were so mad and green was so was so coping so hard and I got flack for it and people were really really mad. But I mean, you know, if I open with three Fokker Wolf, then what's your excuse for for not being able to push cuz that's a lot of points. That's like one, two, three. That's about 500 points. I don't know uh, how many points it was, but that's a lot of points in the opening. You know, I was really, really weak everywhere. And he couldn't push. And, and But somehow that was my fault. You know, and this, this is the hypocrisy that you find within the top players' niche, you know, within them, is they will cheese and spam their way to hell and but then they're they're not happy when it's being done to themselves and you know um i've been caught doing that myself so and i admit it i i fully agree it's a problem um that i'm being a victim to i'm not a victim i'm just sometime i'm an asshole but i mean it's just um you know oh look at that now <laughs> look at that and he's even coming in with the supplies Anyway, and I, I tried to be uh, nicer about that. the The other day, I, I got into a game against a player Cheeky Breaky, and um, he was using Festoon. And <laughs> in my opinion, he spammed me to death, and I couldn't do anything. And and I actually told him, I was like, "Oh, you're just spamming, no strategy in that." And I left, and I felt bad, especially after I looked at the replay and I noticed he was actually just playing normally. It's the impression. It's because I was getting defeated so bad that I saw it as he was spamming me. And after watching the replay, I was like, oh, man. And uh, But I, I found him, and I apologized. And he said it was cool. And it looks cool. And, um, you know, it's all fine. But, you know, you, you got to apologize when, when you get angry at people. And it's like, uh, there's this player right now, awesome 4000 and uh, Farid and Green are pissed at him because he's using first SSB um, in rank. And he's, he's he got into the top 10 leaderboard and he's saying, you know, that he's good uh, to get there. And, you know, he is because take any noobs, put them with first SSB. They're not automatically going to know how to be first top 10, right? And, I mean, Yuyu is doing that, and Farid is doing that as well. And so, it is really hypocritical of them. And uh, especially these players, they do have alt account that they'll use so that you don't know they're good. Because you don't recognize their name. And so, you know, you don't expect uh, to meet them. And, uh, yeah, so... And I remember Farid used to be in the Kingdom of the Noobs clan, and... Since we banned him, he's he's acting all pissy about it, and he's talking trash constantly. But this is what people do when you ban them. They they're suddenly, suddenly, your Discord is is this and that because you know now they're not allowed anymore. So they they're having a little fit, a baby fit, you know. Um, but he got banned in the kingdom because he was saying how it was perfectly fine to cheese. He said and and you know he's like. Oh, it's completely normal to cheese. This is what you got to do, especially in the deployment and, and everything. And, you know, I told him that that's not how the Kingdom of the Noobs wants to play their games. And that's not simply our doctrine. So, so I was like, you know what? But if you think that, you know, I don't want this in my clan. And I have the right to. So I, I told him to remove himself, and he did. Um, but it's really funny to me how now, now that it's happening to them with Osimo... Now, it, now it's not okay to cheese anymore F F because Farid said so. Farid said it's not okay to cheese because you're annoying me. But me, I can cheese all I want and I'll insult you all I want if you say I shouldn't. <laughs> and it's just this toxic, toxic community and uh, in the bootcamp Discord especially, and it's just really. And this is what this was one of the reasons why I created my clan because I wanted to nurture a good spirit, you know, play that would 
help the noobs and and keep them engaged too and so these guys they come in they they're really toxic they get banned and then and then suddenly you know the the kingdom is this and that and anyway so all this to say you know try to find a balance in your play like don't be like you you who's playing the most hopey divisions he can find and he's just playing them constantly like it's fine to do but why don't you play night cav too you know why don't you want to give a chance to the other players the new players too that's the thing we've been playing for three years some dude comes in it's his it's like his 100 battle and you're coming there with decks like that that i will try by the way <laughs> but you're coming in with decks like that and in QP, while well, he's probably in rank, you know, to be fair to him, but still. And he's got lots of alternative accounts as well. I, th I think he had three. He had this one, he has another one in the top leaderboard. He just takes a lot of alternative accounts and get them all to the leaderboard. How lame do you have to be, you know, to... Like, what's going on in your life that, that this is necessary for you, you know? I don't get it. I... I Maybe Chinese are just much more competitive. I don't know. But there is a player, Chinese player, Luna. This guy always plays the worst division. And he wins. He's good. And he always wins. And by the way, Luna is another that, that hates the kingdom since we, we've kicked him from our tournaments. For being really having such an attitude. Being really, really like insulting people. The organizers too on top of that. But anyway... This doesn't take away from the fact that he, at least, he plays bad division constantly. He'll play bad division in the tournament. He'll play bad division in QP, in rank. He'll just play bad division, and he's so good <clears throat> that he can make it. All right, so I saw, I, I came around here and uh, with the Panzer Trees, and, and sorry for this long rant, by the way, uh, with these Panzer Trees, and I saw that he had a M4 there because he killed me, right? So I was like, you know what? Going all and fuck it. I was like, fuck it. And uh, I decided to go over here. <coughs> Sorry. And um, yeah. Yeah, I was just going at it. There's like, it's 12 12. It's one hour, five minute now. The game is almost over. I'm actually, I'm about to be running out of, of people. But I think he, he might be running out too. So the question. Is who's going to surrender first? I'm winning at a 13-11 now. He's got seven, six, seven minutes left, and I'm still holding my ground. And he doesn't look like he, you know, he doesn't look like he wants to waste. Sorry, uh, I was having a, a fit. <laughs> he doesn't look like he wants to waste his units anymore. He's still got those annoying howitzers. He's bringing, you know, look at that. He's only bringing one unit. Um, it doesn't look like he has much himself but you know what he has he has and he's going to push i still got my aa i destroyed his thing he doesn't look like he sees me he's probably paying attention around here and we're gonna be seeing this in full hd mr derby oh look here they are they're not even seeing him no there you go. That kills me. Can you believe that? He actually killed me and I was like pre tank. Oh, it was so frustrating. But there's a rhino here. So now I had to remove myself. I'm not destroying this thing. Well, I could. But, you know, the chance were against me. And I didn't want to waste my units too much. B-47 actually getting to me. Killing another tank. And now I'm just like, fuck it. I'm moving forward. Over here, he's got the flag. It's still 1311 for myself. Oh, no, there is no flag here. Sorry. The flag is here. Uh, I still got a Hummel. I don't know why I'm not shooting, but I think I saw, like, all of these guys here, and I was like, uh, fuck that. I don't know. I don't remember. I was pretty desperate. I still got some units, you know. I believe I did kill all of his uh, Hellcat. I'm not seeing them anywhere on the map. 
Hmm. He's got the P-47s. Where did the Hellcat die? That's a good question. Oh, there you go. Kills the Panzer IV. The only thing that could hold these guys in place. I'm, I'm bringing my last Storm Pioneer. And that's my last infantry unit, okay? I remember because it was a Storm Pioneer that I called in here. One minute, eight. The end of the game is close. No, it's been one hour and eight minutes, so it's it's about to hand now. My Panzer IV died here. I'm still now it's a 12-12. But I had this guy retreating. I still have, you know, I still have some troops around here. I'm moving my Panzer IV around here. Try to get, you know, protect these guys. And I surrendered. And he won. And look at the kill debt. Oh, he killed 7.6. He's got 76 point out of 49 against me. Wow. And it's all it's a lot of bucket moment that I told myself because these players, you're better off trying to go in a Vanguard or Maverick income against them because they, they do well with strategic positioning and all that. But But if you send a lot of stuff at them, they don't do that well. Um, but still, you know, I mean, he did a number on me, a really, really big number on me. And, you know, surprisingly, I was getting him down to five minutes and I, I had the advantage most of the game in terms of points. Uh, but, you know, is what it is. Um, I said good game and he uh, gave me an interrogation point. Like he's like, oh, why? You're winning, you know? Dude, it's been an hour and ten minutes. I don't have any troops left. Uh, Jesus Christ! Don't don't act surprised. People don't build decks like you, you know. And I just told him I have no more troops left. He said good game, and we handed it there. Uh, but I was, mm, I was pissed. But um, overall, it was an it was an awesome game, you know, to play. It's just I was kind of pissed because of all of these lucky stuff that happened. And maybe he's a really, really lucky. Like he's got ten luck in his character build, and I have zero. And this, this is what happens. Oh boy, the uh, the, the kills, this basics. Look at that. <laughs> oh man, his basic just kills. This is a classic pocket moment, and and I die because of that. But uh, whatever. M four A one. I mean everything. Is long Tom just killed everything I had. Uh, M five gun. Also, uh, P-47, Hellcats, Command, M1 gun. Uh, it is sickening. It is sickening. I just, there's so much. M10 tank destroyers just killed everyone. Rhinos. Uh, so sickening. And I'm just here with my short list. And, uh, yeah. The Hummels, they did nothing. Nothing useful. Jesus Christ, I had a lot of them. They just, they didn't perform well. I didn't play them well. More like. Oh boy, guys. Well, this is what, this is what happens. Uh, I think I'm, uh, I'm, I'm good. Last as long as that again. Maybe he was playing with me? I don't know. Maybe he was. Um But usually it's it's over in like ten minutes again. Haven't seen him in a while. I sure as hell don't want to play against him. When I see him I always quit because you know I have this firm belief that he's cheating. Um but it's been verified and it's been concluded that he's not cheating. So, you know, I I have to kind of bring myself to the resolution that he's just so much better than me and I just fucking sucks. And it's a hard realization to make. And, you know, my brain is going, no, it, it's not that I suck. It's that he's cheating. <laughs> and, um, and that's what it is. And that's probably... And that's probably what, uh, what's happening. It's just, 
you know, I've taken a fall too in Steel Division. Not playing the game for a while really gets you down. And there's stuff happening too in my life that, um, you know, there's stuff happening in everyone's life, of course, but there's stuff that is just stressing me out and, um, And it's one of the reasons why I don't play the game anymore. Not uh, I'm not using this use of why I'm bad. I'm using this as an excuse bad because I don't play as much. And it's true. It's it's a true thing that happens. It happens to all of us. Oh, sorry. And um, yeah, but yeah, let's go take a look at at, at you use deck again. Let's just laugh together because wow. Well, and I can't wait. I'm going to try this. Maybe not tonight. Maybe tonight. I don't know. I am feeling really, really sick. Um, but. Um, look at that. 18 M4 Shermans. It's 54 infantry. 18 tank destroyers. 12 artillery. How? How do you fight against that? You gotta get him on a Maverick income where he would have, you know, uh, 90 points and, and not a lot of units to counter anything you would. Still got some pretty potent stuff. Rhinos, Howizers, he, he made a um, nice choice of unit here to compensate, but still. It is freaking insane, guys. Freaking insane. I, um, I think my 20th Panzer deck is still good. <clears throat> Sorry, I would have personally preferred to go with four SZKFZ in B face and then um, the one fifty mil C face. Oh, and look at that! Yeah, maybe I should. <laughs> maybe I should pull a UU and just and just do that. Like, this is freaking insane. But I do have, you know, I do have a lot of troops, too. And that's one of the reasons why I was able to hold on so long. I thought I was... I thought I was exaggerating when I built this deck. Okay? I thought I was exaggerating a lot. Because, you know, who needs... Nine... Who needs 18 tanks? Sea face. Usually, 3-4, you're good. Um... 3-4, you know, heavy tanks. But, you know, 20th Panzer doesn't have heavy tanks except for the Boiti Stalin. Um, and now I had to rebuild all my deck, too. So I'm having the Festoon here. I can't build it like I used to. I <laughs> I, I, I got the... When Cheeky Bricky defeated me, he had so much of these 88s on the ground that uh, this time, this deck, I, I got 4 in A phase, 4 in B, 8 in C. And I bet that won't even be enough to fight players like Yu Yu. But it should. This is an uh, intense deck too. But um, I have more normal, normal decks, you know, that I play often. Like Panzer Valben. I love this division. Really good division. You know, in C phase, I, it's a balanced deck. But I only got infantry and six tanks. And that's good for, for most games that you'll encounter. And what else? Um, I started playing Nordland a little bit. It's a good division. I never played before. Uh, 26 Guard. I don't usually play it. I never really played it. Uh, probably it's a really weird deck. I've got a lot of Shomoviki. They're all in A face. They're all in A face. Um... Because I'm counting on, on destroying, on, on fighting a lot with them. Uh, but it's funny because <laughs> I've made these decks. And sometimes I make weird decks because I know I'll be playing in QP. And I want to give a chance to noobs. Um, and I, whenever I do these weird decks, I just meet some pro players and you just erase me. Well, you know, they're good too. Um, but it's easy to beat pro players. You just got to go Vanguard. And it's something you never see, and I rarely do. I most of the time when I go Vanguard, I do it on my stream, and I, I always defeat pro players when I use 12 SS Vanguard or other Vanguard. It's just 
too much for most players. It's a really obnoxious deck. You know, I'm counting on these SPWs. I start the game with the uh, Panther leaders. And um, yeah. And then in, in B phase, I have a lot of these IG-18 and pack 40s And I bring them as support, you know. And I don't have a lot of big tanks. I only got two Panthers, two Tigers, and one Panther Recon. And, and that's enough. That's enough to win the game. And you got just this. Because you don't need a lot. And I just kind of spam my infantry and my IG-18 and pack 40s And then I bring these powerful pieces. And I just got to keep them alive, you know. But, you know, this isn't QP. Go uh, in Vanguard in a tournament, and it's going to be another story, just because, you know, he can prepare to that. It's a complicated relationship. Um, all right, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this content. If you, do, if you did, uh, like and subscribe. Check out my Gates of Hell content, too. I'm trying to start this. And I really like Gates of Hell. So, that's why I'm casting it. And, uh... Yeah, I hope you have a good one. Maybe I'll put Yu-Yu's deck in the comments and you guys can try it out too. Um, but if I see you in the game and you're you're playing the Yu-Yu's deck, let me know. <laughs> let me know. I'll just leave. <laughs> okay, thanks guys. Have a great night. Goodbye.